Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again, uh, down the shop where I love to be. And today is even a better day because I'm really excited about this project. You know, not every, every so often you get something that you're really psyched to do, and today is one of those days. Um, the reason is because you remember a couple of videos ago I made homemade screwdriver and a uh, homemade uh, hammer, and I had a lot of uh, people in the comments saying, "Boy, I'd really like to have one of those." And I'll tell you the truth, I wish I had the time and the resources to make an each and every one of you one of those hammers. Uh, but, you know, my small lathe takes forever and uh, it's just, you know, wouldn't be feasible. However, one of our great subscribers by the name of Bud Dryder said that uh, he goes, hey, you know, that's just like a hammer that it's a gunsmithing hammer that's made by Magnamat. So I said, I'll check it out. So the first thing I did was I went to the website, checked that looked great. I went to YouTube, watched all the videos, every review I could find on it, went to different forms and stuff. And I said, this looks like a nice little hang, you know, and then I, uh, I ordered up one and uh, I said, this is going to be great because some of the subscribers that wanted one of these type of hammers, you know, now you could have one and uh, they also make a screwdriver. And the best thing is that if you brought this hammer or designs for this hammer to a machinist, they couldn't make it for you for what uh, you could buy it for here. So it's, uh, I'm really excited. Let's get okay, to it. Okay, and here is the lovely hammer in question. And uh, this hammer, as you could see, this is this just the way I received it. And you can see it's made by Magnematic. And, um, and you can see the model number here. They only make one hammer, so you don't really have to worry about uh, getting mixed up with model numbers. It comes with a warning sticker here basically telling you where eye protection and also not to put the heads on without the O-rings. There are O-rings, and you can see how this comes off. I'll take it off. This is a brass head. has an O-ring here. Inside of the head, it's a hollow head, but it has a weight, so it acts as like a dead blow hammer, you know, where it has the... Uh, the weight that follows the striking of the hammer, which is always, you know, stops the recoil and also gives you added uh, impact. Has a steel head, again, the brass head, and it also comes with a Delrin head, which acts as a cap for the hollow handled inside, which you can see is quite deep. And you could put that, uh, that slug weight, if you wanted to, in there, if you didn't want it to, to, uh, to use it. Now, the first thing I did when I ordered the hammer is I called the company. I called to speak to the owner. And that's one thing is uh, big with me because I want to see about if you do have a problem with a uh, product or something, are you going to have customer support? Are you going to get a, a machine or something? I was able to speak to right to Dan Jackish. He's the owner of the uh, the company. He's a, a Navy veteran. So right off the bat, we had something in common, started talking to him. What a great guy. And uh, I spent about a half an hour on the phone just asking him about different things about the hammer and um, and telling him why the whole reason I bought the hammer. And um, he was thrilled. And the fact that, you know, this company, he started this. And, and again, he started this with the idea of making a tool that will last generations, you know. He wasn't, uh, he's not doing this for a profit thing. He's doing it because he's a, he's a gunsmith and he makes certain tools, gunsmithing tools and stuff. And this tool, this is actually, uh, I think it might be the third generation because they had a few changes here. And, you know, designing a hammer is much harder than you can imagine. So even he was saying about the different finishes and things like that. This comes in a zinc finish. Uh, his earlier models were powder coated because of the, uh, the machining wasn't as good as it is now. And now it's so nice that he could put a zinc coating on there and it's just beautiful. So uh, there was a few things that, you know, different head types that, you know, the Delrin and things like that. Uh, when I bought my hammer, I bought a couple extra heads because, you know, if you're making an order, it's just that much easier. But um, the price of the hammer is uh, $55. Now, uh, for some of you, you might, you know, the apparent sticker shock of a hammer that costs more than $20 in the beginning is, you know, apparent to a lot, including myself. You know, when I first started buying hammers that cost more than $20, you're like, wow, it's a lot of money. But when you think about the time and effort that goes into making this, like I said, you couldn't make this for that uh, price. But let me tell you another product that he has that I bought when I uh, went on his website and saw this. Now, the second product I bought was this beautiful screwdriver. And if you think it looks familiar, it is. It's because the uh, the handle is uh, is actually the same type of uh, a billet that they use. So they were able, able to make a screwdriver 
out of this and if you notice the finish is a little bit different that's a zinc coating and this is a nickel coating and oh and i'm telling you the knurling on this is just beautiful now this uh because he had so many made was able to uh, drop the price down this is uh 19 so really well worth it a nice uh, tool inside the handle obviously is a place to store the bits it comes with four bits i have the rest in the plastic bag in there but uh four bits and the one thing that I never liked about interchangeable bit screwdrivers is that there's always some kind of wiggle or play with the tip. And that's the first thing I checked with here. This, when you put this tip in, he has a uh, special high strength neodymium magnet that's pressed into the shaft. And uh, it's a super strength rare earth ma magnet. And what's so great about it is not only does it hold it in tight, but there is absolutely no wiggle from left to right on this screwdriver. So it is like you have a solid shaft screwdriver. And it ha it's, you know, large enough that you get a really good purchase on it. And if you had to talk down to give something, again, who doesn't like knurling? And $19, you can't even make the screwdriver yourself for that. So that was a really good deal. I picked that up. But the one thing I wanted to do was put the hammer through its paces. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, this is a machinist hammer and really not made for driving nails, but I wanted to put it through its paces so I can give it a decent review. Now, you can see here the head is, is tempered just right. There's absolutely no damage at all whatsoever to the head. But um, let's say when you want, because of the soft blow action, you could hear the solid slug that's in there. So that stops the, uh, the backing of the hammer, the bouncing of the hammer off of the item you're banging. And it does a nice job of uh, of driving it in. But what I'd like to do is I'm so used to having shot in there. I said, how can I uh, how can I make this my? Now, own? I thought to myself, if I wanted to replace this slug that's in here with a, uh, and you could put this in the handle when you're not using it. But if I want to replace that slug with uh, some steel shot, could I do it? But I said, you know, buying steel shot, you got to buy it by the pound of it. But I said, what can I? And perfect, what can I come up with? Good old BBs, available in any sportsman store or sporting goods store. And these are Crossman Copperheads. I'm going to fill it with that and try that out. Okay, you can see I filled the head of the hammer up just below the threads of the uh, of the head. And I'm going to screw on the, the steel tip now. And now when you screw these tips on, you want them to go on very tight. And the reason is because you want the tip to make contact with the surface of this hammer here. You do not want the threads taking the brunt of the uh, of the hit hammering. So you, you tighten them down good and tight. And uh, now it's practically silent. You don't hear that clunking of this going back and forth. And... Uh, the weight, there's not a tremendous amount of weight to this, and the BB's got to be very close, but I do like the BB's. I'm going to try it out and see how it works. Okay, now we have the BB's installed. And you can see here, you don't have any clunking sound from the uh, the slug going back and forth. So, uh, But you still have the, the non-bounce. You see it's not bouncing back. I'll tighten it up even more so. You can see it's there's no bounce back. On the hammer so I do like the BBs in and that's the traditional uh, fill for a soft blow hammer is some kind of either steel shot lead shot uh, sand anything like that because it will uh, drive the force down without letting it bounce back so I do like it you can choke up on here too because of this little swell in the handle you could choke up here if you wanted to get a, uh, you know, drive a pin punch or something. Okay, next up, we'll try the screwdriver out. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. And uh, as far as the magnet, I looked it up online. And uh, the good news is uh, there's a hundred different pronunciations. So it's either neodymium, neodymium. Uh, it's definitely not neodymium. So we can rule that one out. Anyway, uh, it's got that strong magnet in there. So you don't have to worry about the tip ever coming out on you. And um, again... It has a real nice feel to it, especially the, the way the handle feels. I don't know if you can, let me just get a little bit better here so you can see how how it, how it nice it is to grip this. And you got your palm swell on this uh, uh, Delrin cap back here, and it's curved. 
and it gives you a really nice feel to it so when you you're pushing down on it so you get a lot of torque a lot of turning I didn't pre-drill this hole it's a uh, this is a a drywall screw and a coarse thread and it's you can see how nice this works so really a nice screwdriver uh, beautiful nickel plating and just love this screwdriver so in closing now you can see why i was so excited today about doing this review i just you know me with my love of hammers and tools and especially something this nice that you can get uh made already for you that you don't have to uh, spend hours at the lathe and it's just really a beautiful hammer and the screwdriver i did check the screwdriver with uh, my other tips and they fit just as snug just as tight with no play and this is the best fitting screwdriver for tips that I have. I've never had a better one that, however they swage that, they do a fantastic job. And it's uh, just a beautiful piece, huh? So I just uh, wanted to bring that to your attention. So if you are interested in, in having these type of screwdriver and, and hammer, it, it is available. Magnumatic. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this little review. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>